The rules of the game are different for men and women, and that's a fact. But even as we try and try again to accept this reality, sometimes the double standards can get a tad annoying to put up with. And hey, we're bound to lash out. Perhaps that's what instigated Paige Spiranak to react the way she did to Greg Norman's recent photos. Let's look at how the events unfolded. Starting off, compliment or roast? What did Paige mean by her comments on Norman? Just to give you a bit of context, Greg Norman is not only the retired golfing legend who spent over 300 weeks as the number one golfer in the industry back in the 80s and 90s, he's also the winner of 89 tournaments and a very successful entrepreneur. Kids these days generally have no idea how legendary this icon was back in the day, and that's why we wanted to start off by explaining the sheer power he holds. As of now, he's nearing the ripe old age of 68 and is the CEO of Live Golf. So it's safe to say that the man has led a fruitful life. He's quite literally a Hall of Famer, and you'd expect a man at his age to slow down and let himself unwind a little. But as it turns out, Norman has absolutely no plan of letting himself go. His life is defined by discipline. And if you don't believe us, you can see for yourself. In this photograph he posted back in 2020, in the photo, it's pretty clear that the man never missed leg day and chest day or abs day because his six pack is so obvious that even those of us with weak eyesight could spot it and that too without glasses. No, but for real, being that chiseled at 68 should be considered a crime. But if fitness is a crime, then Mr. Greg is guilty as charged. Now, you're probably wondering how all of this ties back to Paige. Well, the beauty icon saw an opportunity and she took it. She decided to comment on the aforementioned picture, but we're still trying to figure out if she was roasting him or if this was a feeble attempt at complimenting the man's physique. Next up, what did Spiranak have to say. Okay, so out of context, her comments don't seem as bad. But wait till you hear us out, because the context really changes the whole game, and you know it. What may have been a harmless comment literally sparked a social media argument about the blatant hypocrisy of female stars objectifying their male counterparts without any consequences whatsoever. But truth be told, all Paige did was repost a specific tweet in which a random Twitter user was making Greg acknowledge his privilege by letting him know that yes, we get it, you're hot, you have six packs, but some of us have to work for a living and, you know, do real people jobs. Ouch. Hey, it's a tad unfair to say that this man hasn't worked for where he is in life. This user does seem a tad envious, but we don't blame him for feeling threatened by Norman's awe-inspiring bod. That man just changed the meaning of dad bod for all of us combined, and Spiranak seemed to agree. Because, as it turns out, when she reposted that tweet, she did so with the intention of praising the retired golfer. But perhaps she went a little overboard with the praise. She was quick to show her wit and play on his nickname, The Shark, and she went on to refer to him as Hammerhead Shark. Cheeky. But there's more to the story, and perhaps giving you those details would make you understand why some people reacted negatively. Let's look at what was so peculiar about that image. As it turns out, the chiseled six-pack abs and his beautiful dog aren't the only things he's flexing in the image. The reason why so many people had so much to say was perhaps that the contours of his manhood were very clearly visible from under his shorts. Oof. Now, we don't know if that was a wardrobe slip-up or an intentional attempt at showcasing his virility, even at that age, but either way, Norman's manhood was very visible, whether he liked it or not. And so people were quick to poke jokes at the whole situation. But it's fine as long as random people on Twitter are doing it. People just thought it was a bit distasteful for Paige to have commented on the picture, especially given that she's blatantly against the idea of body shaming and objectification. Time and time again, she's taken to her socials to advocate against the hypersexualization of her body. For someone who despises all objectification aimed at herself, it seemed to fans that it was a tad bit hypocritical of her to be okay objectifying someone else, only because they're a man. Yes, Paige, men have feelings too, okay? Moving on, Paige was quick to come to her defense. If this lady has proven anything so far, it's that she may be a damsel, but she doesn't rely on a prince charming to help her out of stressful situations. She knows how to take a stand for herself. And that's precisely why she was in the mood to put up with the antagonist 
antagonistic comments that she was being made to endure just because she made a seemingly harmless tweet. For starters, she made it clear that what some people don't realize is that there's a fine line between shaming someone, being derogatory toward them, and simply admiring their body. She made it clear to her followers that the backlash she's facing is unwarranted and just goes to show the double standards of the industry. This is a woman who has been attacked for sexualizing female golf only because she chooses to wear certain outfits. She doesn't mind people complimenting how hot she looks as long as they're not doing so in a disrespectful way. And hey, we'd argue that this is a fair stance, don't you think? Nothing about her comments toward Norman comes off as derogatory. If anything, he should be flattered that the world's sexiest woman took an interest in him. That's not the only thing the golfer turned social media sensation had to say. She explained that social media is a space for self-expression and people may express themselves as long as they aren't causing hurt. Well, if Greg doesn't have a problem with Paige's reaction, we can't seem to find any reason why we should. Next up, being sexy should mean people will shame you. Okay, so it's 2023 now and we can't believe we still need to spell this one out. But as it turns out, the whole social media scandal between Greg and Paige became a learning lesson for the rest of us. It was like holding up a mirror to society and how much harder it can be for women as compared to men. So many fans came out attacking Paige for not liking it when men commented on her body and doing the same to another man, but what they seemed to miss was perhaps the tone in which her body becomes a subject of division. Now, we don't want to turn this into a sociology class, folks, but truth be told, such interactions really say a lot about the power dynamics of our society. Paige has been in the news time and time again because of how she's been shamed by fans and journalists alike. She clarified that while she has no problem with people telling her that she looks good, the ex-golfer despises being called an S or a W for her clothing choice. As it turns out, people still feel the need to shame women for the clothes they wear. If the lady has something to flaunt, then why not let her? She was named the world's sexiest woman in 2022 for a reason, and hey, if we're getting to see her look good in all her stunning outfits, we should be grateful more than anything else, right? What do you all think? Let's look at times in which Paige was bullied online. Social media can be a scary place, especially when you get to sit behind a screen and make comments on people without any accountability whatsoever. We actually get to witness people's ugly sides on platforms such as Instagram. Ever just scrolled through the comment section of some of Paige's posts? Well, it's safe to say that it would leave you a tad disturbed. Because it turns out, she might have millions of lovers, but fame comes with so much hate. The added visibility also makes her vulnerable to attack from online trolls. She revealed all this in her podcast when she talked about how people often call her fat and ugly and that takes a toll on her self-esteem. Okay, first, are these people blind? But secondly, ouch that's bound to hurt a girl's sentiments. The thing about being the sexiest woman alive is that so many people keep telling you why you don't deserve that title. And the same is true for Paige. But fans on social media aren't the only ones attacking her. Literal magazines have written articles accusing her of sexualizing female sports. We can't imagine how tiring it must get for her to deal with all this hate, all because she wants to dress the way she likes. Lastly, what does the future hold for Paige? Despite all this negativity, Paige likes to keep her head held high. For someone who has achieved as much as she has, there's no need to let jealous haters bring her down. Isn't that right, folks? In a recent interview, Paige talked about how she's been spending more time with her family and friends. She's also been taking therapy to help her cope with the negative self-image and her imposter syndrome. Some days, it's still hard for her to believe that so many people admire her looks when she can't seem to, but this girl boss is working on loving herself. She also revealed that she already feels as if 2020 2023 will be her year. It'll be better than 2022. She's all set for her podcast and her social media fame, given that she has her head in the game and that this woman doesn't seem to be slowing down, we think the future belongs to her. And on that note, it's a wrap for today. Do you think Paige deserves the hate for her comments? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel for more. See you next time.